What's up guys? And on today's vlog, I'm gonna show you my first Louis Vuitton vintage bag purchase. Welcome back guys to my channel Lux and Bags. I hope you are all doing well and keeping safe. At the moment here in the UK, we are still on lockdown and they will be reviewing on February 22 if they will be lifting the lockdown or we will still continue with the lockdown. But at the moment, the cases of the coronavirus is gradually decreasing and then we will be starting the second dose of the COVID vaccine next month by the way if you're new to my channel my name is M and I do unboxings and review of luxury items shopping fashion travel and life in the UK if you're into that vlog please do consider subscribing to my channel it will greatly be appreciated so I'm gonna show you my first Louis Vuitton vintage bag purchase so here it is guys the bag is so big i don't think this is the dust bag of this bag but the seller kindly gave me a dust bag so this is the manhattan in gm size so this is named after the city that doesn't sleep which is the manhattan in new york city louis vuitton introduced this in 2005 in collaborations with mark jacobs so this comes in two sizes which is the pm which is the smaller version and the gm which is the big versions so the size of the gm is 15.5 inches in length so the height is 9.5 inches and the width is 6 inches so have a look at this beauty so it has a double rolled handle and the middle is accentuated with a central buckle strap which the PM doesn't have and it has two pocket with push lock closures so when you open it you have to unbuckle this it has a two zipper pull which has the Louis Vuitton engraved there so that's the zipper looks like because it's an old model stuff my bag so that it won't lose its shape and it has a very spacious compartment the color is beige and it is an alcantara lining and it has a flat pocket and it has the Louis Vuitton tag in there that says made in France and you should be able to see inside the pocket the date code I don't know if you can see that one this is made in France on the 17th weeks of 2007 unfortunately this is now discontinued and you won't be able to get this in any louis vuitton shop you can only get this by going to the route of a pre-love market or the resellers but in 2017 louis vuitton relaunched manhattan in a whole new look so it has three different colors which is the noir or it's black the caramel and the raisins which is like the maroon i'd i'd really like to have the one in maroon if i get a chance because that one is more versatile because you can carry it in the, in the top handle or you can use it as a crossbody bag or as a shoulder bag because it has a strap while the old style of manhattan doesn't have a strap and you can carry it only by the top handle or you can use it in the crook of your arm but the new manhattan that was launched in 2017 reminds me of a diaper bag but that's only my opinion but i still like to have it if i get a chance 
So I've got this bag in October 2020 last year from a trusted seller in Facebook. She's got a Facebook page which you can visit and she only sell a vintage, I think mostly Louis Vuitton vintage items and the name of the Facebook page is La Petit Vintage Store and the administrator is Mahima and Lisa. When I purchased this bag, I know that I will be receiving a bag that is not in a perfect condition because it's not it's a pre-love, it's not brand new. Because I'm very meticulous guys when it comes to buying items. I am very perfectionist. So the, all the items that I buy, I I have an eye like a hawk so I can see very little flaws and if I see flaws I'm not gonna be 100% happy and I'm not gonna purchase that bag even if the bag is or the item is on display I'm not happy to purchase items that is on display I don't know that is just me but anyway buying a pre-love bag has changed my perspective because obviously you're buying a pre-love obviously it's not gonna be perfect and the bag has developed its character so the Vachetta leather has developed its patina so in this case this Manhattan GM has developed a honey gold to caramel color patina and the hardware has tarnish has scratches and there will be scuffing that is very minor issues with the pre-love bag but this is 13 years old guys so imagine this is a 13 years old bag but this is still in a very good condition and what I've noticed with a vintage bag the canvas feels like much thicker compared to my new Louis Vuitton bags so guys I'm a late bloomer I've only started collecting Louis Vuitton bag last year most of my Louis Vuitton bags are new and this is my first vintage bag and I can compare that the canvas there's a big difference with the canvas the canvas of this is much thicker compared to the new ones so guys the only tips that I can give you when you are buying a pre-love bag is do a lot of research find a trusted seller that is the main things guys because there's a lot of scammer there and that is your hard-earned money they are ready to get it if you are not very careful the third one is ask as many pictures and question as you like because at the end of the day if that is a trusted seller she will be ready to answer all your question and she will be happy to provide you all the photos that you want another thing is you have to stick with your budget don't buy pre-love by impulse because some of the seller does not offer a return I, I'm so loving this bag. The only negative for me is the weight of the bag. It's a little bit heavy. Other than that, it's good. And actually, as soon as my friend saw this, she offered to buy this. So I'm still thinking. And since I bought this, I've only used it for a week. So far, I'm quite happy with it. And I'm still gonna think if I'm gonna change the Bachetta leather on this or I'm gonna sell it to my friend. And again, and guys don't be embarrassed to buy a pre-love bag i'd rather buy a pre-love than buying a replica that is only my opinion so there you go guys i hope i have given you some tip on buying a pre-love bag let me know if you have this bag and if you acquire it brand new or like me pre-love do comment down below i'd like to hear and i'd like to know what's your thought about this manhattan gm so again thank you for watching and please don't forget to consider subscribing to my channel and be part of my youtube family until then guys god bless and keep safe bye